In this video, I will show you how to get high voltage in summer conditions using a microwave. Let's see what it can do. I can already smell it. Just look what a huge arc there was. Do it again. It was so long. We will receive high voltage using a microwave transformer. This one has two such connectors. We'll connect a voltage of 220 volts here, using an ordinary plug. I strip the wires, connect the connectors. I almost forgot, you need to connect a high voltage wire. It is most important. To keep our hands away from the fire, we use this pipe section. To this we tied a regular plug, to which we will connect the high voltage wire from the transformer. What do you think? What high voltage arc will we get from this transformer? Turn it on. I can already see it sparkling. Look, look at the table, look. Yes, I see. It's sparkling. It goes to the tree. So the table conducts current. It will light up now. What's wrong? I'll try. You've seen? I felt a vibration. Did you see it? You've seen? Why is it so bright? Have you seen how it rolls out? Why is it so? Due to a magnetic field? Holy moly! You said it would be 8 millimeters here. Just 2000 volts guys, but it's so bright. It's just amazing. So, now it will be slow-mo. Oh, I'm even partly blind. This time, I need to be more defensive. Did you see how strongly the arc from the magnetic field twisted? So, one transformer is good. But now we will connect one more. Let's see what happens from two transformers. How powerful is a high voltage arc? Primary windings should be connected in parallel. Are you sure everything is off? Yes, I turned it off myself. What will happen with two transformers? I don't know. Did you expect such a large arc from one transformer? Why did it get longer? There is a formula that one volt is one millimeter. So if we connect two transformers, we have two kilovolts. The arc should be equal to two millimeters. We should be given a Darwin Award. The main thing is to not mix it up. Primary windings are in in parallel and secondary windings are in series, then tension will build up. Friends, in any case, do not repeat this at home, better just watch. We do this in a safe environment. This is very life-threatening. Pay attention, there are warnings everywhere. Look at this transformer. Same thing on this. It's very dangerous stuff. Have you seen how the magnetic field twists the arc? I wonder how it will react when we connect two transformers. Will the arc wrap around two transformers? Or not? It's hot. Is it hot? Really? Yes. It's very hot. No way. Wait. Wow. Did it get so hot because of the arc? Like a plasma temperature. We definitely need to isolate the second transformer. I'm afraid it might short through the table. Can we put some kind of insulator in there? Package. We need to put a package. Under that one. Guys, what do you think? Will 4000 volts pass through the package or not? Will it sparkle? I want to get away, but I can't go any further. Ready. It works. It's glowing. Look, turn it up. Let's turn it on. It doesn't shock. Look here. Pretty tight already. It's smoking. Whoa. Have you seen how long it is? It's so long. I'm afraid it might jump somewhere. Oh no, it jumps off the winding. We need to put something in or we'll burn the transformer. It moved over there. Listen, I think we need to do the following. 
We need to bring the land here. This way. Here. Into the outside. A bit here. Yes. Here with a wire. Just using thick wire. The arc starts and is about 4 millimeters long. But it's stretching. But yes, it is stretchable. This time, I need to be more defensive. A little more. It's bright. Look, it's a different color. Did you notice? I think the green arc was due to the copper used here at the end. Different metals give different arc colors. Imagine, when we used iron, the arc was bright yellow, but with copper it is green with a rather strange tint. Now there will be macro shooting. Come on! Did you hear the sound? It was synthetically scary. See? Look at this color. What's that smell? Similar to ionic. It's ozone. Was ozone added to this? Saw, so, it almost turned on me. Turn it off. But of course we won't stop there. For us, two transformers is not enough. Therefore, we will connect the third, and then the fourth. The arc must be long to the ceiling. Are you ready? I want the arc to reach the ceiling. If it's up to the ceiling, it will be hard to stop. It can get out of control. Then we don't need it. Three transformers is already 6,000 volts. I'm a little scared. I understood why I was so scared. Where are my shoes? Guys, the most important thing is the shoes. It should not conduct so that we are not shocked by the current from the ground. Come on, come on. Look, the wire is sparkling. Whoa. This flies out of the GoPro. Look, can you smell this? I don't think it's worth looking at, but I can. Now let's try four, turn it up. I'm scared. Holy moly. It's so clear in GoPro. And this color. It's so powerful. I already feel it. As if there is a specific blue glow around the wire. You need to see it in the dark. Here, do you see blue? When I do this, the transformer starts to smoke. But it's okay. So, let's get down to real adult experiments then? It was only the assembly of a high voltage plant. It will be hot now. Well, shall we eat an apple? Okay. I've got an idea guys. Let's check what happens if we apply this high voltage to an apple. Will it conduct current? And what if you launch an arc directly into the sea? Will the wave light up? Watch the next video. Friends, we continue to shoot and translate our videos only thanks to you. Thank you everybody. For our sponsors, we provide early access to the video. For example, the next part is already available for viewing for those who support us. And for the most loyal sponsors, we can make a sign or even call you via Zoom. And all sponsors get access to a special Discord channel. If you want to support us, click on the join button. Thank you all for your support.